Riley. I was gonna call up, well, let me just put it this way. I hope they keep the scenes on. I'll give you a little background on what's gonna happen today. There were scenes that I was supposed Insider to Insider info that's not on the internet yet. Yeah, wow. now I don't know if they're gonna keep so the scenes. So get your Twitters out. Okay. Uh, but uh, I was supposed to actually have a scene with Rich Frank from Prospect Park. Yeah, we okay. heard. So the scenes that I have today, um, which I hope they kept, I, I think they did, are with two other uh, very, very important members of uh, the One Life to Live group. I'm not going to say who, but uh, I came in that morning, uh, which was November 18, thinking that I was working with Rich Frank, and also the day before they had said that we had to clear out our dressing room, which, because I'm such an eternal optimist, I thought, because I'm working with Richard Frank, he is going to announce that uh, we are changing studios, like immediately. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I thought we had to clear out our dressing room because we had been told that we were moving on with Prospect Park and we were going to be able to stay in these um, studios until about February or March. But then we get this notice that we had to clear out, but just being an optimist, I thought, okay, we're moving on here. And then I come in that morning and the publicist is there and uh, I said, so is Rich Frank here yet? You know, because I, I always want to run lines. I love to run lines. And she went, uh-uh. And I went, well, what time is he coming? She goes, he's not. Aww. Yeah. So anyway, but I did the scene uh, with uh, two really terrific gentlemen who I, I think you'll probably recognize. Uh, they're not actors. Cartini! Uh, excuse me? Cartini. Cartini? Is that a train? No, no, no. Yeah. Cartini. Oh. Is, is that a combination of two people? Uh, Valentini and Carvalotti. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, you know, you always know more than and most they people. They're delicious. Yes. They're next door. Oh, okay. I will. If I can ever get there, I will. Um, anyway, so hopefully they 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 keep the scene in. But you know, Roxy saved saves Fred Rowe and you know, I thought maybe of calling up Prospect Park and telling them that she dropped the rights and let someone else pick it up who really wants to do something with this. Yeah. 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 So it'll happen. It'll happen. So but, um, I, can you explain to everybody why Roxy like can't get certain words right? Like she just pronounces everything. I mean but Roxy like tries to she's like well, I'm trying to think of no, well, I actually think she's very brilliant in her own way. And, and actually, a really good malaprop, which is what that's called, a really good malaprop in a way describes the situation or what's going on almost better than the real word does for some strange reason. Um, but who said what? Yes. So uh, I actually think she's quite brilliant, you know, schooled in, uh, in the school of hard knocks yeah. and in the street, you know, very street it, 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 smart. You know, I, I realized something the other day when Soap Net re-aired a bunch of those classic episodes and uh, there was a scene in the casino in Atlantic City with uh, the amazing Max Holden. Yeah. And Roxy has come, uh, <laughs> she's come along. She's, she yeah. grew up. I mean, you know, yes, yeah, somewhat, somewhat. Somewhat, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, she went from having two kids to no kids to a son who's in Statesville. I mean, yeah. And they don't tell you about this before it happens. You know, Scott Clifton, uh, who played uh, Scott Clifton. Yes. Yeah. First of all, they never told me that he was going to be my son. So he had to tell me, like, on a staircase. I almost fell backwards. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, also, I had no idea that uh, Echo was going to be Rex's mother because they don't tell you that either. And it's very strange. You kind of like open up the script and you go, wow, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, because you, out of anyone here, it's probably more than anyone else. Um, so during, you and you're at the studio, is JP really in Jam Pants? Yes. <laughs> Either that or like medical scrubs, but mostly pajama vibes. Yeah, he's comfortable. Why? why? <laughs> Saves a lot of money on clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so we have about five minutes before the last one. Like, to live. Oh, 
Okay. Now, what is the, what is this cartoon? I don't know what your nasty is. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 